staying there. He does get spotted by John Olsen over there in Hulls. Action ensues. Lamy Snap does get picked. Get one picked off, excuse me. Daikalem. It's good for the trade here. And that's going to leave A a little bit more vulnerable. Loki. Can we slow down for now as they do get slowed down by that tripwire. Suka. It's able to find information onto one. And the players here towards Hulls. Going to be exposing themselves right now. But John Olsen gets behind them. The players in Hulls. Now very, very much in a bad spot. Suka spots the head. But so does John Olsen. And it you're you're absolutely right, and I think that applies to Southeast Asia as well in general. As Lamy snaps, will get swung out here. He's not gonna be able to get out. He, he swings wide around the corner, is able to trade the frag and get us four to four. He, he does have that ultimate available very early on. The Seekers so good on a big map like Breeze, and that's gonna help them um, really get onto site. And they're gonna want to take those long range duels, those long range engagements. Nice tag right, however, from TTC. He gets that tag onto Kishi. But the frags double from Loki to open up the site and they're just mowing them down. Sha la la la. Good attempt, but in that they're going to make a full hit onto this site. Only two play players, excuse me, to sort of hold them back. And one is going to be John Olsen. He gets a nice shot onto the dome right there of Kishi, bringing us to a 4v5. And they, do, they do have an advantage with the weaponry in their hands. They could go for that um, retake play here. But John Olsen looking to deny them, looking to deny them again with three kills here. They trade it out eventually, but with 10 seconds left on the clock, it's Akashi to find a nice shot. They still have to find the spike, though. Even though the shots are beautiful, Beautiful, it's a 1v1 and PTC with the Spike operator. Planted. Let's see how he's corner right there and PTC has to move. He's got to get close. He has to defuse the spike and no, not at all because Akashi peeks out a little bit prematurely there and PTC was absolutely ready for it. Um, we're charging each other because you get all these different teams, all these different play styles from different nations and different regions from all across and it really makes for a way to grow and that's why I think one of the strengths of Stavis here. But Let's go ahead and talk about the round for now because it's an A execute coming in. Super Bus, the great hold. You know, we talk about this guy. He's one of the great defensive players from his team. Every single time he gets a triple before he goes down. Suka's right there to match him. Tit for tat. Lockdown will be deployed just to buy himself a little bit of time. But he's stuck between this wall. And now he's brought it back to a 1v1. He will wait for the right moment. PTC has the operator. PTC has clutched this before. But... Just as he gets within range, he gets closer, trying to creep up. PTC not allowing for any opportunity here, walking, just to make sure he doesn't give away any sound cues. But Suka, he's going to get the timing right. He's going to guess that angle. He's probably not going to reposition just yet. Oh, he Misses holds it down. <laughs> uh, I take that back. He doesn't miss the time. He actually just gets one before Sha La 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 follows up with a second. And this is looking like a solid hold right now, up until that Hunter's Fury is able to get a one. But there's still four more to find here. And Dai Kalem, this is what I mean about the difficulty here with the lurking operator. It's very hard to do unless you're supported by a teammate who's there to help and flash for you. That's going to leave Dai Kalem all alone with the operator. And still lands a nice shot, but immediately progressed into taking a site is a little bit significant as well. So there are trade-offs. Um, and, and it can be difficult for the attacking side, but... It's gonna be a nice really shot right there onto PT who, who tried to get aggressive towards mid, but in the end it will go for a one-for-one -one exchange for both teams. Dykelem just waiting for that toxic screen to go down. Seems like Loki's gonna get spotted out though. Does get tagged. John Olsen takes him out here. Side of that wall, and that's a, this is a tough spot to clear out, especially when you don't really have a flash. He wins it anyway. Daikalem's all too aware of the possibility that there is going to be a player here, but they still have to deal with Superbus as well, who is, for the most part, one of those actors that you can always rely on to at least get one. And so he does. Daikalem, it's a great round for him as he finds three. The spike is dropped in an awkward spot, and that forces him out of position here, and that's going to be super duper tough to recover. As Suka is going to have to go out and push his way in there. He's um, um, forsaken on Paper Rex, who has been playing more and more support now. And that's sort of been sort of the evolution here, not just in Southeast Asia, but in, in the world of Valorant in general. Before I get onto that, a good flash. John Olsen! What? Oh my god! John Olsen! 
baby, what is that shot right there? Such a crispy shot on him this time, leaving us in a 2v2. And he is making life hell for Cerberus right now. Throwing them all the way back past the pits of Elysium. Now it's Dykelem in a 1v2, and he has got a world of hurt if he can't even pick up this spike. You know, Cerberus, looking like they're going through a living hell right now, it's all because of Mr. John Olsen right there with Dykelem. He only has a few seconds left to plant the spike at a 1v2 situation. He's just getting gapped. You'd think that the... I, I thought that he didn't have the... Uh, the accuracy on because he was just moving to counter strafes just in time to find another confidence play from PTC and one by one he finds the shot leaving it all up to Suka who does have the lockdown but will it matter as he's tagged up and he's getting swarmed out the utility flying his way he is dead but to recreate that success just been proving nearly impossible here for servers Super bus, uh, rather PTC, is going to be taking the first blood onto Suka. Kashi will be taking down Super bus. Kishi here. And Daikalem. One enemy remaining here for the side of CS. If they take this round, is a 9 3 curse real, Illustrato? Oh, well, you, you might not be wrong because we have been <laughs> seeing some crazy combats here. In that last game that you casted, I. We thought we were going to be taken for a short trip, but it was a long, <laughs> wild ride down Insanity Lane. And PTC here could take us for another trip down the rocket ship. And he's going to land one with three kills. Akashi's there. Four rounds is only what separates them here. And in a map like Breeze, we've seen a lot of, I'd say, turnaround games. This could be no exception. PTC looking to open things up and... With a great shot onto that phantom, he will find Loki. No one to trick this time as they will be able to secure that B site. They will leave someone lurking behind though, so it's cha la la la. He's gonna checking he's gonna be checking this flank consistently. Now the trap the tripwire was destroyed. This gives cha la 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 information that there should be players coming in from the flank. But from the front, it's super to open up this retake here. As it's a great shot to land onto Akashi. We'll not find the follow-up because Kishi's got the better of him this time. And the double flank might prove to be very deadly here. And it's looking like double jeopardy because he's seeing just no fear. Supported by that Aldrone. Kishi lines up one, but still, it's a great entry. Yet again, they're finding so much vulnerability here onto this B site. It's gonna be a nice wall man. The backup is right there, but a 1v1 is what they find. Cha la 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 going up against Dai Kalem. 10 HP on him, and the spike is still planted in the mi has not been planted. It's dropped in the middle of sight. Cha la 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 will have to recover, and he lands up. Who's yet? They've got themselves a nice little present here in the form of match points. Full sense poised to take this map away. From CES in a very dominant performance, John Olsen atop the scoreboard with 21 frags. Right now, they have Loki setting that ultimate in A and then having everybody else around mid and, uh, sorry, that ultimate towards B and around A, but full sense they're not afraid and they win the duels anyway. That's B side completely open and the Viper spit gone. The gamble just doesn't pay off at all. Uh oh, and that's a big whiff from Kishi, massive whiff, but for... But he somehow comes out of it on top. That's going to be a little bit of a saving grace as PTC yet again is able to shut down Suka completely with a quick blade to the face. Going to have a little bit of trouble here. It looks like Full Sense might be going on ahead, but he has got something to say about that. Hunter's Fury PTC will use this right click prematurely, but Lamy snacks to stave them off for now gives up his position but does it matter in the end full sense looking like they're ready to take game number one will they be able to take this and claim this it's Daikalem he's not gonna get anywhere close look at this triangle of doom the crossfire once one peeks out dubitably a stalwart performer throughout this entire game but the rest of his team actually stepping on right Illustrato it's just they're trying to feel each other out in terms of the default position, but as I say that, Daikalem just throws that out the window and gets an opening pick on to be some map control. But the at the end of it all, you got Cerberus who have already secured that site. Kashi does get tagged by the dart at the very least. A couple of them tagged in terms of HP here, but is it gonna be enough? Kishi trying to be a little bit cheeky over there. Super Bus and Lemmy Snacks has something to say about that. Loki, Loki as well with a 2k though. Nice quick tap tap. One Heavy tap. And Loki's still going to be here. He knows where Chalala is. Only has a classic, so it's definitely going to be a very tough retake. 
The moment you jump out of this, it's going to be a tough ask, but because of the low HP onto Lamy Snacks, and the good lineup right there onto site, could be a fake. Gets it to half, though, and Loki will go for that jump. And of course, to force them to make a mistake, like an early peek, they can punish, but it's going to be the price for that one in the strata. Yeah, I was hoping that Daikalem would actually be the one to entry, especially because he has the Vandal. But I guess they want him as the, like, the last man alive right now. But Limey Snacks lining up too. Is eventually going to be traded up by, there by Loki. Right around this wall, right around the corner. They're going to be having Cha La 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 holding that angle. 10 seconds Ten left. Seconds Not left. a lot of room for mistakes here. Daikalem is able to get one. Traded out immediately. 5 seconds on the clock here. He's just going to be taken down immediately for error here, especially with, especially with a lot of utility coming from the other side. But Akashi is able to open things up right now. Lamy Snacks will get taken down. The boom bar forces him into a bad position. And that's going to be the site taken. Can they get the spike planted down in time? It looks like it's going to be a yes here. With 12 seconds left, they do manage to make it. And Daikalem, well, what a shot onto John Olsen right there. Giving a little bit of payback onto the... Biggest problem that they had thus far. Took a couple of shots for Daikalem to land that one. But over here, PTC will show him who the judge, jury, and executioner is, and it's PTC. Finally, Kishi will secure the round. A third. I'm not gonna make him hurt too much, but still enough to make him reposition for a second and enough for PTC to get up close. Loki, though. Who? PTC picks up a gun, PTC picks up a triple kill right there, and a round that they should have no business winning, it's PTC! And then dashes away, and then closes out the rest of the round. Man, this guy, his reflexes are just so on point right now. And this is gonna throw a wrench in the plans of full sense, but Suka... Okay, oh, you hate to see any time and al disallow them from planting. But the patience play right now from Cerberus, it looks like it's paying off for now. Oh, that's a phantom moment right there. Super bus getting the better of Suka in that one, but they have worked their way in. They do have to recover the spike and 15 seconds left. It's not a lot. They got to be decisive. They got to pick it up here. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. They will be allowing for that retake. Lamy Snaps has the Hunter's Fury. Oh, and they're done here. There's just no way. And I mean, this is the risk that we were talking they about. They made it! Just as we thought there was no time on the board, still is absolutely winnable for Cerberus. But this is a 3v2 situation, my friends. And a couple of them, at least for Dyklim, are low on HP. He does get one. That's going to allow him to heal. And that's going to be a big miss right there from Loki. He gets one, but is able to get taken down by Limey Snacks, who only needs this lead. Still a very good... Oh, what an absolute banger of a sh- It's gonna dink him. He almost gets Akashi using that lineup. At the very least, Akashi adjusts a little bit. Oh, the stopper jiggles around it, uses his teammate as bait, can't get out. And that's gonna be a nice double from Kishi, but he doesn't get around the corner in time. That's three players detained right now, but Suka keeping things alive, and that's gonna be one- Sometimes, uh... Well, most of the time, it is pretty much a common angle here, super bus. And with a lot of players, and look at the swing out, John Olsen! He's finding Five two down, before he goes please. down to the turret. Now, they might not expect PTC here. They're going to try to check him. Shoulder peaks, and that's enough. That's all he needs to get the advantage. Full sense. I managed to regain composure. And what the <laughs> hell is Lamy in the middle of that hookah? I just like, oh, I, I guess he's. It's a very scenic moment, I'd say. I know. It's just like it could have been a photo opportunity, babe. I'm, stop it! I'm trying to take a photo. A lot of teams starting to play very much more disciplined, starting to play a, to tune into their experience and to rely on crossfires, which is, I'd say, a very good indicator of growth for the region here. But before we go and talk about that, they're going to work their way into that site. Big. A little bit of a whiff here from John Olsen, but Kishi's right there to pick it up. Down to 13 HP. And the Shock Dart will do a little bit of work here. Now, this is a great chance for Cerberus to go in 6-5, but only PTC and Lamy Snarks. Okay, a little bit of a lucky guess, but still, it's Loki. And Daikalem, excuse me, Chalalala just yet. But the Hunter's Fury will give information that there is still a couple of players here. He tags two, and he's able to get that kill onto Suka. So it's a well utilized ultimate right now. That recon dart is going to get destroyed almost immediately, followed up by a couple of ultimates. That should be the lockdown destroyed, and in fact, it will be. Good tag right here, but he tags up Kiki just as well. 
on the other side. They're utilizing all of their ultimates for this round. Now they're trying to push onto side. Good kill by Super Bus. But his position is right known here. PTC up close! The right clicks here from PTC! Will just make mincemeat out of Cerberus! That's the beauty of having a Sky. He gets back four. Shots will connect right there for PTC. He finds a one onto Loki. And again, healing up to full. John Olsen. Ah, uh, yeah, I got you. I got you guys. That's kind of cool. PTC on that Sheriff, like an auto turret right there with a heal. But Suka says he can outclass him just by using the classic. And Daikalem will be taking down Super Bus. Catching him off guard just like that, though. Oh, full stands with a full flash right there. That's a great couple of kills. They have to contend with Suka. Knows where one is, but will get flanked. No, it, it won't. There's two. It's a standoff here in bathroom. Who's gonna peek first? John Olsen with a heal up and with little time on the board. He's gonna stick. Oh no, there's just no time here, but they get the kill. Doesn't matter. Rounds and full sense should have been. Should have been one of the contenders. Still could be one of the contenders for that title. Oh, it's gonna be pretty stacked. But you know what? I, I told you we were gonna be in for surprises here when Loki takes down PTC. A really good opening pick for them. CS not looking like their true form today, Ilu. No, absolutely not. After Akashi gets mowed down like that, leaving Suka in a 1v3. Spike planted. Um... Uh, and again, I, I think it's really this... I feel just this lacking here for the defensive side here for Cerberus. They've, they've gotten a, not, a lot of good ideas, but it doesn't feel like there's enough to support each other. That crossfire on site... After you had, like, Loki and Daikalem um, get a couple of uh, picks... I think it was like Loki and Daikalem. Uh, there could have been a lot more support coming in. But they were kind of left to their own devices there. And there was not a real lot. There wasn't really a lot of support here. Loki had it there. Nice shot there. From PTC. A little nice. salt to the wound. Oh, not after that. A lot of damage exchange though. But, ooh, full sense. Don Olsen with a fadeaway. Uh... Okay. What? Well, gonna win it. But that was expensive and that was a little bit one. Lockdown deployed. We have Player another standing. one. And Suka. Oh my god. 5 HP super boss. And he destroys the lockdown too. So 5 HP for him. And the Astros Believe are going head to head. Looking for that go around here. Looking for that merry go around. Who is gonna win in this carousel of doom here? Not a lot of time left. And super boss. He's got it. He's got it. Oh my god, the hesitation. Yet again coming in from Cerberus. That's gonna be the dash in coming up right there through. Lamps miss. But it's going to be still a punish right there. Good enough for Cerberus for now. As Kishi, he's gotten one. He's gotten two. He's looking for a third, but he's denied. And that's gonna be a 2v2 right here as we do get closer to the match point set up here. If Folsons win this, this could very well be the game already. They do have the Astral Divide, the Cosmic Divide rather, as Superbus is going to actually push through it. Balls of Steel here! Superbus, he finds three! And through this Defender Killjoy lockdown, not gonna be locked down on it, but it's still gonna be Suka in a world of hurt in this 1v2. The timing doesn't go his way. He finds one though, now he still has one more to find. And oh, the Nano Swarm just keeps him off, and the timing just could not be worse. Suka with 65, he gets tagged up through it. But he's gonna have to make that one error. But Cerberus, they're happy to play back. They know they've got a man advantage and they can just hold quite nicely here. Especially after that Hunter's Fury. 12 seconds left to plant. They have to get on the site and Blammy stacks. He's gonna find his team into that site right now. With 5 seconds left, that's the showstopper. That's the round. That's the round. Well played here by Cerberus, especially after that beautiful showstopper to deny the plant. And full sense, maybe playing it a little bit close, too close to the chat one. expensive. Yeah, indeed. Five rounds ahead, Full Sense is at right now, but really, CES, it's quite unfortunate that they're playing so well now that they're here. So there has to be a little bit of an adjustment for Cerberus, just like this one, but a little bit of over-commitment from Daikalem. I think the dismiss might have been in order, but instead, they're going to be holed up here for the meantime. They can't break through, but they can try to get on the site. They do actually manage to find their way onto it. The spike should go down very, very shortly. They have a couple guns here, Illustrato. Super Bass, uh, Super Bass, rather, is already planning the spike. Kishi does get tagged using the Marshall. He's down to 24 points of HP. 
Cosmic Divide is already in play. Asuka again being the vanguard of his team right here. But John Olsen has something to say about that. And he gets the 2k here before he gets raided down by Loki. The damage has been done, Illustrato. And this is this is an awkward spot here, PTC. But is there time? Is there time? Lamy snaps. Could they get this with an ego? He gets spotted out by the recon. He's gonna get to the half right there. And he's gonna get shot on the brink of death. I mean I don't know how they can follow this up.